Manchester City's 2-1 win against Liverpool on Thursday night featured many dramatic moments. Vincent Company could have been shown a red card half an hour into the match following a challenge on Mohamed Salah. Some felt that Andy Robertson was fortunate not to concede a penalty when he tangled with Raheem Sterling inside Liverpool's box. There was also Pep Guardiola's rant in the second half, with prompted referee Anthony Taylor to come over and calm the Man City coach down. But the biggest moment, aside from the three goals that decided the match, came in the 18th minute. Salah sent Sadio Mane through but the Senegalese forward's effort came off the post. John Stones tried to clear but he crashed the ball against Ederson, sending it hurling towards his own goal. The England international managed to race back and prevent the ball from going over the line, with goal line technology showing that the ball was just one. 12 centimeters from standing dot it was a lucky escape and the game might have ended differently had Liverpool opened the scoring. City have now released footage of Stones and Ederson watching the incident back after the final whistle. Both are glued to the screen as they see just how close the ball came to crossing the line. With a mixture of relief and delight, Stones shouts, Haddocken. There's every chance that without the technology, the goal would have stood. It would have been very easy for Taylor and his assistant to deem that the ball had crossed the line without the technology. It looked that close. One wonders what would have happened if VAR was also in use in England's top flight. Would company have been shown a red card for his lunge on Salah? George Earn Klopp feels as though he deserved one. I really like Vincent Company, but how on earth is that not a red card? Comma the German said, per BBC Sport. Company disagreed with Klopp, claiming that it was a great challenge. Either way, what's done is done.